Number eight in the cognitive distortion uh, or biases uh, playlist is the big one, the placebo effect or placebo bias, number eight. Uh, as a physician, I tell you that we um, work with the placebo effect a lot. Uh, most people are kind of aware of the placebo effect uh, or placebo bias. It'd be better um, better named. It's the, the sugar pill effect. So you go to your uh, doctor and you're like, well, I have this, this pain. And instead of giving you um, any kind of medication for it, they give you a Tic Tac or an M&M or something. They don't actually do that anymore, but... The, this at one point was was an actual uh, process, which is why uh, we have laws and regulations protecting us against those things. The placebo effect is typically you can exert physiological changes um, if your mind believes that you can. If you're given a reason to believe something, changes can occur. Um, There's the sugar pill effect. You tell someone who's... Um, um, like a little kid, they're having growing pains, their legs kind of ache at night, so you give them a, a Tic Tac or a, a drink of some grape-flavored um, uh, water, and you say, well, this is medicine to make your legs stop aching. I mean, it's, it's not. It's just grape, grape juice or a, a Tic Tac, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, yeah, now my legs feel better. So you, you got to be aware of the placebo effect, uh, not to misuse that on others, because uh, that can... It can cause, it'd be a great disservice, uh, not to mention illegal if you're a licensed physician. But the placebo effect can be used in a positive way. It's one of those distortions that you can use. Uh, if you think you're going to get better, you're probably going to get better uh, if you're ill. Now, the placebo effect is not going to mend broken bones, but um, it can help you with uh, so-called psychosomatic uh, conditions, um, distortions that are caused by... Um, you know, the mind effect, the mind's effects on the body. Um, for instance, I was just talking with uh, uh, Justin the other day when we were doing uh, um, jiu-jitsu uh, at lunch. We were talking about the effect of real-world violence um, on people. And um, people that get uh, stabbed or shot um, or even punched in real life will typically fall down because... They think if they get punched in the face, they've seen in the movies, whenever whenever an actor gets punched, they fall down. Or they get shot, they fall down. Uh, or they're stabbed, uh, you know, the extra the uh, the extra in the movie or the, the, the stunt actor gets stabbed by, like, um, John Wick. He's stabbed, they fall down, they're out of the picture. And in real life, that doesn't happen. Um, but it can now, if people have seen that and they believe that, oh, I've been shot, that means I'm out. That's the placebo effect. Uh, in in real world violence, I with my own two eyes, I've seen people shot multiple times that didn't even know they were shot, uh, and it didn't until it came to their attention. You've probably had similar things, maybe not being shot. Uh, you get a paper cutter or a scratch, you're out playing, you're doing things, and then you get home later and you're taking a shower and you notice there's a big scratch on your elbow, and then all of a sudden it starts to hurt just because you noticed it. So anyway, placebo effect deserves its own video. It's a huge thing, but it is a distortion to be aware of in yourself. Are you um, doing better or feeling better or making progress because of actual concrete uh, evidence or just because the placebo effect uh, has gotten hold of you? Um, this is one that might not be that bad. You're going to feel better uh, within reason if you believe you're going to feel better. So start with that. Um, maybe we'll do another video on the placebo effect in, in a, in a uh, larger scale, but try to keep this series short. So check that one out.